Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tyler with the Tarver Academy YouTube channel and today's video is sponsored by Geometry Coach Dot com. So, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Today we're going to learn about points, lines, and planes. So, if you would, take notes, try this out, write it out, do whatever you need to do to learn this concept. So, we're talking about points, lines, and planes. By the end of this lesson, I want you to be able to draw points, draw lines, line segments, rays, and planes. If you don't know what those are yet, that's totally cool because we're going to learn about them here in a second. We want you to be able to identify those, know what they are when you see them, and we also want you to know the precise definitions of a line, line segment based on all of the terms and notations you'll use throughout coordinate geometry. So, here we go. Key vocabulary. You need to know what a line is. You need to know what a point is. A line segment, a plane, and an intersection. So we're going to talk about all of those today. Okay, so... In geometry, I'm going to read this with you, but you have these notes in front of you as well. It says, in geometry, some words, such as a point, line, and plane, are undefined terms. Although these words are not formally defined, it is important to have general agreement about what each word means. So, if you Google this or if you search the internet for this, if you watch other videos, you might see slightly different ways that people talk about it. But just so you know, it, these are general terms that you'll use. And your math teacher may want something different or more specific on certain things. That's up to the math teacher, but you should get a general understanding as we go through this. Okay? So the first one is a point. A point is it's more commonly called a dot. So like this right here, boom, that is a point. Um, whenever you start drawing them on a graph, you're going to call it a coordinate. Okay? But that's the same thing. They're a point. It has no dimension. So we like to think that it's like a circle filled in. It's not. You got to think of it like the very tip of the pencil hits the paper. That is it. It's, it, it has no dimension to it. It doesn't go no depth. It's not moving in or out. It's just a point. It's the simplest part of what you see on, um, on like any type of coordinate plane. It's usually represented by a small dot and named by a capital letter. So this would be like that's point A. And when you talk about them, you're going to call them point A. That's how you label it when you're talking about it. We're going to show you guys that here in a little bit. Um, if you want examples. So point A, dot, coordinate, point A, that's what it looks like. Next one, let's talk about a line. A line extends in one direction. So like this right here, this looks like a line, okay? It's extending in one direction, okay? Or in one dimension, I said direction. In one dimension, but it goes in two separate directions. Um, we talk, you know, like 3D, like this is 3D. Uh, and you look at the old like uh, video games, those are 2D. They look like paper on top of paper. That's two-dimensional. Three-dimensional has depth to it. So this is two-dimensional. I'm sorry, one-dimensional. Um, and it is usually represented by a straight line with two arrowheads to indicate that the line extends without an end in two directions. It's named by two points on the line or lowercase script letter. So this right here, see I've got these arrows. That is a line. You will see those two arrows. If you see this, that's not a very good drawing. But if you see this, that's not a line because there's no arrows, okay? You gotta have arrows right there. So whenever you have this, you need at least two coordinates, so like A and B. And then if we're labeling it, we're gonna label that line A, B. See, I've got the two arrows there. That's very important, guys, because if not, that is a segment. A line has arrows on each end. Looks like this. Sound good? Cool. Now, let's talk about plane. A plane you need at least three coordinates to make a plane, and a plane essentially looks like a piece of paper in the air, okay? See that? See how that looks? It extends in two dimensions. It's usually represented by a shape that looks like a tabletop or a wall. So it might look something like this. That looks like a plane. Um, if you have two planes that overlap, it's, I'm definitely gonna, let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Man, I'm, that's not bad. Not bad. I'm, that's not bad. So that would be like two planes intersecting. So you have two planes. It'd be like two pieces of paper. Look at this. Look at this. That is like two planes intersecting. Okay? So to visualize that, that's two planes. See what that looks like? A plane extends in two dimensions. Um, it is usually represented by a shape that looks like a tabletop or a wall. You must imagine that a plane extends without end. Okay? So this right here, that looks like, it looks like a piece of paper, but you've got to imagine that a plane just extends. So like, you know how we talked about a line and it's like if this went on forever in both directions, that's a line. And that's why the arrows mean that it keeps going forever. A plane, it's like a piece of paper that extends forever. 
It extends forever out into the world. Okay, so that's how you have to picture a plane. And if you want to label a plane, uh, let's say that you've got um, on here, you've got point A, point B, and point C. You need at least three coordinate or three points to make a plane, and then you would just call it plane A, B, C. Okay, and we're gonna do some examples on that here in a little bit. Cool, a line segment. Okay, so we talked about this right here. This is a line because why? Because it has the two arrows. A line segment does not have the arrows. So it'd be like line A, B. That is a line segment. Y'all see that? Okay, it has no thickness or width and it's usually represented by a straight line with no arrowheads to indicate that it has a fixed length. So if I'm labeling this, if I'm writing it in a sentence, it's gonna look like this, okay? So that's what it's gonna look like if I'm labeling this right here, okay? Now, sometimes you might see somebody do this. That's weird, but you just might see it, so I'm letting you be prepared for it. But this is really kind of what you wanna to go to as your go-to unless your teacher tells you different. Awesome, okay, so array. So we've talked about this is a line. This is a segment. Array is like half line, half segment. So like whenever you think of like a, like a ray gun, like a Marvin the Martian, the cartoon, pew pew. Whenever you shoot a ray gun, it shoots out. You have a starting point and then it goes forever. Think of like a laser coming out of a ray gun. So if that's that, you go So one side is a point, so it has a stopping point, and then it goes through forever on the line the other way. So that's what's called a ray. And then how would you write that? Just like you would think you would. Now, this is important, look at this. That's where it stopped. Do you notice how I put that A on the same side as where I did not have the arrow? The B has the arrow, just like here, the B has the arrow. That's important when you're labeling this because it's gonna indicate which side is the line that goes forever and which side is where it stops, okay? So it's very important that you do that correctly. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so collinear points is another term you're gonna need to know. Collinear points just means like um, if you're a co-pilot, that means you're, you're pilots together in the same cockpit. So collinear means that there is a line and you are on that line. So A, B, C. All three of those points are collinear because they are all on the same line. Collinear, okay? now. Coplanar is exactly what you think it would be, are points that are on the same plane. So A, B, C, and D. If all of those points are on there, A, B, C, and D are all coplanar. Okay, so collinear means they're on the same line. Coplanar means they're on the same plane. It's easy enough, right? Okay, so let's do some example problems to make you guys get reps on this. If you want, you can pause the video and then work the example problem and then you can roll into the next step. So let's use the figure to name each of the following. Okay, so I wanna name this line, all right? So first off, I need to look at what, what points are on this line. Well, A is on the line and B is on the line. So A, B, and then what do we put above it? Remember, if it's a line, does it stop? No, it extends forever, forever. So I'm gonna put those little arrows above it, okay? Points. So we've got several points here. We've got A, B, C, and D. Okay, so I'll put point A, B, C, and D. Now, do you notice how I separated them? I separated my points with commas. That's usually how you wanna separate different things. Commas means that they're separate, okay? So these are four separate coordinates, so four separate points, so I'm gonna separate them with commas. Next, collinear. Remember collinear? Co line, see that? They're on the same line. Well, the only two that we know that are on the same line are A and B. So remember, I'm labeling points, so what am I gonna do to separate them? A comma B. So you wanna say that they're separate points because up here, I said they're on the same line. Down here, I wanna say I'm labeling points. So always remember, what is the question asking for? What does it want from you? It wants two points, collinear points non-collinear points. Okay, well, what are some points that are non-collinear? 
Well, we don't know that D and C, um, but here's the thing. If you have D and C, you have two points somewhere, you could draw a line through it. So honestly, the safe bet would be to list three. Okay, so let's do A, C, and D. We know that all three of those, this one, this one, and this one, they are not on the same line. Look at this. I could draw a line there, but I can't draw a line there because that would be like, whoop, be like curving around. Can't do that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's see if we got it right. Line A, B, correct. Points A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, D. Circle those in the wrong order. Collinear points, A, B, we got that right. And then non-collinear, A, C, and D. So we did it right and you feel good about that. Sample problem one. Use the figure to name each of the following. Okay, line segment and points. Okay, so we're gonna name the line segment and then we're gonna name the points. Okay, so give it a shot and then we'll see if you got it right. Here we go. So, um, whichever one is easier, you don't have to answer them in the same same uh, same order. But like I've got K and L, I know those are my points, so I can put points K and L. Now, with line segment, these are points. They're not aligned, so it doesn't go on forever because there's no arrow. So I can say K L, and then I just put a line over it. No arrows. Remember here, we did arrows because it extends forever. Here. We didn't. We stopped it because it's a segment. It's a segment of a line. And it looks like we got both of those correct. So good job. 10 points to us. We're doing great. Okay. Another sample problem. Use the figure to name each of the following. Okay. So we want to name some stuff here. So this might be different than the actual answers we have on the next page, but this will allow us to take a gander at it and see if we got it close. Okay. So we want to name the plane. Remember, a plane is like a piece of paper. And you want to get three points, at least three points, that are all on the same plane. So I'm going to go with S, where is it? Here we go. S, O, and T. So plane, S, O, T. Now, I did not put commas there. Why not? Because I only put commas when I want to separate things. I want S, O, and T to be on the same plane. So I'm saying plane. SOT. That line's not necessary. Okay, now let's find array. Remember, array is like a, it starts and it's like a segment, but then it goes forever the other way. So I'm gonna look for that. So what do you know? I've got one right here. So I and R. Now, remember, it is important how you label this because if you do I, R, which side has the arrow? Okay, so we know there's a line above it, but it's not a segment. This Right now, as I have it, is if it's a segment. I don't want it to be a segment. I want one of those sides to go on forever, which would be R. Boom, okay? Now I wanna list all of my points, so I'm just gonna go down the list, R, I, S, T, and O. Remember, commas separate because they are separate points. Coplanar points, so look at this and think, well, which one of my points are all on the same plane? Well, this is my plane, so that one, that one and that one. And you're thinking to yourself, well, Tyler, I just did that on the first one right here. We did kind of do that on the first one, but we are wanting to name the points here. So they're asking for different things. This one wants you to name the plane, plane SOT. This one wants me to list all of the points that are on the same plane. So S, O, and T. And then non-coplanar points. So here I can name, let's see, I guess S, R, and I, because I went out here, I grabbed this one, I grabbed this one, and grabbed this one, because they're not proven to be on the same plane. You would probably need four, I would think, on this, uh, because if you have three, you can make a plane with three, so I would probably list four, and we'll see if we got that right. So I'm gonna throw T in there as well. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. So here we go. Okay, so we did everything right. Looks like plain STO. We've got Ray IR, we labeled it right. Points, we listed all the points. The only thing we did different was we only did two here on this answer, whereas we listed five of them, okay? So it might even be safer just to list those two um, because you need at least three points to make a plane. So um, that would be safe bet there as well. Here we go. Two or more figures um, two or more geometric figures intersect if they have one or more 
points in common. So an intersection is wherever two things cross. So if you have two lines, this would be the point where they cross. They need to have something in common. So let's say this is line AB, this is CD, and this is E. E right there is the intersection point. It's like, um, I like to think of, you know, like interception. Like if you're playing football and somebody throws the football and you run across and you intercept it, that's essentially what two lines, they intersect um, on a road. If you see two rows, roads right there, see that's a road, that's a road, that's the intersection. And whenever you're driving on the road, you say, hey, look, we're coming up to the intersection. That's what an intersection is. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so here are a few postulates that are essentially what a postulate is. It is a rule in math. So here are some math rules. Postulate 1-1. One, one. Um, through any two points, there is exactly one line. So anytime you have two points, doesn't matter where they are, you can draw a line through them. Oh, here's a point, here's a point. Guess what? Line through it. Oh, here's one. And what about this one? Boom, there can be a line through it. So anywhere you move two points, you can have a line. A good way to do that is to grab like some yarn and you can hold it with one hand, hold it with the other. And anywhere you move, that is still a line as long as you're keeping it tight. Okay? So that's a good way to look at that postulate. Postulate 1-2. If two distinct lines intersect, then they intersect in exactly one point. So if you have two lines, they're only going to intersect in one spot. And then you're like, well, what about if you have like a curvy line? That doesn't count. That is not a distinct line. Okay? So it's going through two points. So that's an intersection. Postulate 1-3, if two distinct planes intersect, then they intersect, intersect in exactly one line. So when two lines intersect, they intersect at a point. Whenever two planes intersect, let me see if I can draw this. I'm not gonna draw this well, let's see. Oh, that's, that's not good. Okay, that's the terrible drawing, but Right here, let's see if I can do this. Um, boom. That right there, let me draw it again, purple. That right there, when two of these intersect, that is going to make a line as the intersection. So it's like it goes on that right there, this spot right here, that is a line where they intersect. Whereas when it's two lines that intersect, that intersects at a, at a point. So when two lines intersect, it's a point. When two planes intersect, it makes a line, okay? Clear? You like it? Cool, okay. Postulate 1-4. Through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. So, let me, uh, let me go back to the red. So you have three, if you have three coordinates, you can make a plane. Anytime you have three coordinates, boom. There could be a plane made out of those. Now, here's the key three non-collinear. That means that you can't say these three are coplanar because they are collinear. So that doesn't count. You need at least three and one of them has to be like somewhere else. Then you can have a plane. Cool, right? Cool stuff. So let's do some examples based on all the stuff we've learned thus far, shall we? So looking at sample problem two. Um, we're going to refer to the figure and we're going to try to answer it the best we can. Name the intersection of line QZ and segment WU. So we want to figure out where they intersect. Now, if it's two lines that intersect, I know one of these is a segment, but they're essentially two lines that intersect, what is it going to be? Am I looking for a point, a line, a plane? I'm looking for a point. I want to find the one spot that these two cross. So let's look at them. QZ is right here and WU is right here. So what point is this right here that is intersected in the middle? Looks like it is point T. Remember, uppercase letters whenever you label points. So let's see if we got it right. Boom, point T. We did it, guys. Look at us, who would have thought? Not me. Okay, let's do another example. Name the intersection of plane pi, okay? Sometimes, you know how earlier we were naming them like, oh, this is plane, you know, a, B, C. Sometimes if there's like a symbol or one letter that represents it, like right here, see how that represents it? You can just say plain whatever it is. Okay, so you have options. So name the intersection of the plain 
pi and line db. So what is the intersection of this plane and this line db? So we are looking for where it is intersecting. Now, what I'm going to look for, you want to look for your dotted line. This means it is behind it. It is not on that plane, so it's behind it. So where does this line stop becoming dashed? Right here at S. So I know that it's going to cross through it. It's almost like if this is your plane right here, we want to know where does this line go through that right there. Okay, so where is that point where it's going through it? The dash part, that dotted line part, that's kind of like leading you to your answer. So we're going to say that's on point S. And let's see if we got it right. Point S. Boom. We did it. We're so smart. We're so smart. Okay, next one. Name the two opposite rays at point T. Now, remember, um, I don't know if we, we explicitly talked about opposite rays, but we know what a ray is, right? It goes from a segment and it's this way. Think of the word opposite. Opposite means if I'm going this way, the opposite would be going this way. So if this one is shooting this way, then you want to have another one that is shooting the exact opposite, which makes it look like one single line, but really there is a point split. So one of them goes this way, one of them goes this way. So we are looking for the two opposite rays at point T, okay? Now, we've got two options here. This goes through it, and this goes through it. Now, what's the difference with a ray and a segment? A ray can go on forever on at least one side. A segment is stopped. Look at WU. See how these coordinates stop? There's no arrow. So we know this can be our opposite rays because there's no side where it keeps going. So I'm going to take this, boom. That's one ray. And then this, boom. That's another ray. Okay? So you almost think like it's like splitting out QT and you're splitting out QZ or TZ. So it's like you're taking those two and they're shooting the other way. So let's look how we're going to answer this. Name the two opposite rays at point T. So we've got TQ and TZ. Now do we remember how to label it? We know it's a line. Now the ray, the arrow has to go over whichever part has the arrow. So the Q and the Z have the arrows. So we're going to have to go like this. There you go. So see if we got it right. Yeah, T-Z-Q-Z. -Z. Good job. Okay, refer to the figure on this one. What is another name for plane pi? Now, remember, we just need three points that are on this plane. So we're going to call it plane, and we need three coordinates, three points. So it looks like we have options here. Um, remember, they can't be collinear, so I couldn't say Q-T-Z because those are on the same line. So I'm going to need to pick, what about Q... T U. We could do that. So plane Q T U. Now, there are multiple options for this because I could have said Q T W. I could have said W T. Well, this is the same thing. I could have said S T W. I have a lot of options because we have one, two, three, four, five, six points that are on this, and I only need three. So let's see which ones our answers picked. T S you all that's correct as well just like we were okay sweet so let's look at our photo here what are we looking at this is this is a picture of two planes that are intersecting so you got this plane and this plane intersecting that's what we're looking at right now okay so keep that in mind as we look at this name the intersection of plane pi and plane what is that like a t so this one and this one. We're looking at those two intersecting. Now remember, when these two cross, two lines cross, it makes a plane. But whenever two of these cross, what does it make? You remember? It's gonna make a line. So how do we label a line? We pick two, oh, let me get out of the yellow. Okay, so that means we're gonna do this. We just gotta figure out what our two points are. So what where is this one intersecting with the other one? I'm going to say it's intersecting with this right here. B, C, S. So I think our safest bet would be through the ends. 
So let's say line BS. Let's see if we got it right. Line BS. Look at us. We did it. Okay, great. So remember this line right here, that's where those two are crossing, okay? It's almost like you have to visualize this whenever you're looking at it. Um, planes are a little tricky. I'll straight up tell you. I've seen more students get um, a little bit confused whenever they're looking at planes. So what is another name for plane pi? Remember, if we're doing other names, we just need three non-collinear, means they're not on the same line, points. So I could say plane, let's see, we're dealing in with this one. Okay, I'm gonna do yellow because it's prettier. We can do purple, look at this. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm looking for three coordinates on here that aren't on the same line. So I could do M, G, and I can't do C, so I'm gonna do L, that's safe. So plain L, M, G. Let's see what we got. Boom! Plain L, M, G. We even named it the exact same. Man, that's crazy. We're so smart. Look at us. Okay, refer to the figure on this one. Name the intersection of this line and this line. Okay, well let's look at it. M, G and B, S is right here. So what point are these two lines intersecting at? Also, if you're ever like doing a test or a worksheet or anything like that, Write on it, okay? Write on this part over here. It makes it so much easier to visualize all this stuff. So we're gonna say it's on point C because that is the point where these two lines are crossing. Boom, point C. Man, we're 100%. Name the intersection of plane pi, which is this one, and then line LC. So this is line LC. So where is this line going through this plane? So that's gonna be a point. It's like a pencil going through here. Where is it crossing through that piece of paper? Right here. It's a point C. It's right there. Is that what you guys guessed? Let me know in the comments. Is that what you thought? I bet it is. I bet it is. You're a smart group. Okay, we got it right. Of course we did. Name the intersection of plane T and line LC. So where are these two crossing? Where are they crossing through? Y'all see? Give it a guess, I'm gonna tell you in three, two, one, right there. That's where that pencil is going through that piece of paper, so point L, point L. Man, it's good. Name a point that is coplanar with H and L. So what is another point that is on the same plane as H and L? Okay, give it a guess and then I'll tell you the answer. No. It is not that because that is the entire, that represents the entire piece of paper, the entire plane. It's gonna be this, because we already said H, we already said L, so the only one left is point P. Yep, we got it right. Okay, name the opposite ray. Remember, when you have an opposite ray, one goes this way, the other goes opposite. Two opposite rays look like a line. Remember that, keep that in mind. Two opposite rays look like a line. Name the opposite ray of ray C, B. So we've got this one, C to B, and it goes forever this way. So an opposite ray would go the other way. So give it a shot, and then we'll work it together. C, J. Now, do y'all remember how to label it? See how we labeled it up here? Which one does the arrow go above? Well, it doesn't go above the B. That's what was up here. The arrow's on this side. There you go. CJ, let's see if we got it right. Boom, Ray CJ, we did it. Okay, let's look at another one. This one, we're actually gonna use the information to draw what it wants us to draw. So it says, draw and label a figure for each relationship. Okay, so plane ABS contains lines AB, CD, and AK. Okay, so we know these are all three lines that go on forever because they have arrows. See those arrows? That means they go on forever. I don't know enough right now to draw this because I feel like I'm gonna have to change a lot of stuff. So let's read the rest and see if we can draw it after that. Lines A, B, and C, D intersect at point G. Okay, so that's important. So that's gonna intersect there. Um, so I could actually draw that one, I think. So let's, let's draw this line. Okay, and we're gonna put A, B, and then I want them to intersect, let's see. Then we need another line that intersects it, so I'm gonna just put, let's do, um, this right here. And this is gonna be C, D. 
and I want them to intersect at G. So wherever they intersect, I'm gonna label that G. Okay, so I did this one, so I'm gonna mark it off. Actually, I'm gonna highlight it because it looks prettier. So we did that one. Line CD, we've already got it on there, and AK intersect in point S. Ooh, okay. So we could draw, we know it's A, is all, we've already got our A on there. And then we need to draw it through CD. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. We'll see if we messed it up. We might have to go back. So I'm gonna draw this line. Okay, now I know they intersect at point S, so I know that intersection is S, but I need to do that K. We haven't put a K anywhere. So it's A, K, so I'm gonna have to do a K. So let's make sure I did that right. CD, it's already on here. A, K, we have that. And are they intersecting at point S? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So we're gonna highlight it, finish that one. Lines A, B, A, B. so we've got a, B right here, and A, K intersect in point A. Oh, we already did that, so we're good. Awesome. Awesome, so we did that one. So now let's go back and check our first one and make sure we do it as well. Plane A, B, S contains these three lines. Okay, awesome. So that means that we just need to draw a plane. So I'm gonna draw, it looks like a piece of paper that contains all of those. Wow, this is, it's a little messy, but I think we did it. I think it looks pretty good. Let's make the, I'm gonna make the plane yellow. There we go, and then we've got all three of those lines. We've met all of our criteria. Let me know in the comments if I didn't. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, not bad. Looks pretty close. I feel pretty good about it. You guys feel good about it? I feel pretty good about it. It looks pretty good. Okay, let's see if we can draw this one. Draw and label a figure for each relationship, okay? So first one, plane pi contains line AB and point L. So let's draw a plane. So we're gonna do plane. We're gonna draw line AB, because it contains it. So A, B. And I'm gonna label my plane, so let's label it plane pi. And I need to put a point L on there, so make that L. That's an ugly L. I'll do that again. There we go. Okay, so we're done with this one. Excellent. Plane, okay, so we've got another plane here. It contains line EF and point S. I'm gonna wait, because I wanna see if this plane intersects this other plane. Lines AB and EF intersect at point H. And the intersection of the plane pi and that is line LU. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to have to intersect L, which we already have, U. LU's on there, so we're gonna go ahead and put LU, because I know that line exists. And I need it to intersect with this right here. Okay, so here's, see if I can draw this. I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna make this yellow. Is that cool with you guys? We're gonna make that yellow. Man, coloring's pretty. Okay, so now let's draw the other plane. I'm gonna draw it in a different color so that we're not super confused. So let's do, um, let's do this plane right here. Now I'm gonna go over, oh, let's go. Okay, let's see, there we go. There we go, so that's, that's not very pretty, but Let's assume that I drew it prettier. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna color this green, and then that goes underneath it. I hope you guys are visualizing this. Let's just say this went over there. That's ugly, that looks terrible, I'm sorry. I tried my best, I gave it my best shot. Okay, so let's make sure we label it. So we did this. We got the intersection of those planes at LU, so excellent. Um, lines. A, B, and E, F intersect in point H. So we got line A, B already there, and E, F intersect at point H. Oh, let's do this. So we need to do this one right here. Plane T contains line E, F, and point S. So E, F and A, B are gonna cross. 
So let's see if I can draw this. Man, this is ugly. It is hard to draw these. Um, well, because, I mean, you're just dealing with a lot here. So let's try this, A, B, and E, F. So I'm gonna make A, B, and E, F intersect. So let's say that's F. This is E. And we want them to intersect at point S. So there's need to be a point S here. So let's make sure I hit this criteria. So this is plane T, contains line EF. So I'm gonna put that one on my green plane. And then I'm gonna make it intersect at point S. Yes. Awesome. So we did that. Lines A, B, and E, F. A, B, and E, F intersect at point H. Oh, 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 see what I messed up? I messed up, we caught it. This doesn't need to be, this doesn't need to be S, this needs to be H. S just needs to be on that plane. Did you guys catch that before I did it? So S just needs to be on the plane, that one's there. So I'm gonna actually color these in so you guys can see them a little bit better. So this is red, I'm gonna do them the color of what I did with the planes. So this is red, this is green. Okay. Hopefully we're gonna see a pretty one on the next page, but I think we hit all our criteria. Yeah, this is way prettier than what I did, but you can screenshot this or take a picture or pause it and get a better look at it. But you'll essentially go down the list and make sure we hit all of the criteria. So, which I think we did, ours just looked a lot uglier. Okay, next one. Draw and label a figure for each relationship. Plane pi and plane t do not have intersect. So they don't intersect. Plane E intersects plane pi in line BC, and plane E intersects plane T. So it looks like E, this one, is gonna intersect these, which are separate. So let's see if I can draw this. I'm gonna draw this. It's gonna be a long plane, and that's gonna be my plane E. And then I'm going to do this. Okay, and then I'm going to do this. I think I did a good job. Nope, I can do the line there. Awesome. Got it. Okay, that's not bad. I feel pretty good about that. Do you guys like it? Yay or nay? So this is pi and this is t. Okay, so now we just got to label our lines where they're intersecting. Okay, so let's make sure we hit everything right. So does that plane right there and that one right there intersect? No, they do not. Plane E intersects plane pi at B, C. So I find my pi, which is this one, and they need a line B, I'm gonna zoom in, B, C. I just need to make sure that goes forever. Forever, ever, ever. So we did that one, check, check. And then this one needs to be on E, R. That was easier than the last one with all those planes, I felt like. If you guys feel the same, let me know. So we did that one as well. Boom. Boom. Okay, let's see if we got it. Okay, we flipped ours this way, they flipped theirs this way. Same thing, doesn't matter. We good to go. And that's it. That was our last slide, guys. We did it. You just learned about points, lines, and planes. Let's go back and make sure we covered everything we wanted. Our objectives, we wanna draw points, lines, line segments, rays, and planes, which we did. Do we wanna identify points, lines, planes, line segments, rays, and planes? Yes, we did and then no precise definition. So I feel like we're pretty good. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments if you want, we've got more resources. Also, you can go to geometrycoach.com and check out a lot more of their resources. Y'all be good, stay sweet, and never stop learning. Peace. <laughs>